Hi guys, 18 Dapper here and welcome to this match preview for Saturday's fixture at Rodney Parade. It's Newport County versus Doncaster Rovers in League 2. Let's get the video started. So guys, welcome to this match preview, Newport County versus Doncaster Rovers in League 2 at Rodney Parade this Saturday. If you're an existing subscriber, thank you so much for supporting the channel and continuing to support the channel and engage. It is really greatly appreciated. If this video has brought you to the channel, please consider clicking subscribe so you don't miss any future content coming up this season. If you are new to the channel and this is the first video that you've seen, this is the format that we go through match previews. Look at previous meetings between the two clubs, current form across all competitions. I say a few words about a Doncaster Rovers player and then I choose my opponents one to watch. But as I always say, you know your club much better than what I do. So if there's somebody else us Rovers fans should be watching out for in tomorrow's game, get them in the comments down below. Then I give my predicted team lineup for the Rovers and then me and the family have got predictions league table. So there's an update on that and then the all important score prediction at the very end. So without further ado, let's get into previous meetings. Newport and Donny faced off a total of 46 times in our history and it's fairly even across those 46 games with Rovers winning 16, Newport winning 19 and we've shared the spoils on 11 occasions. Drill down into our last five meetings and you have to go all the way back to before I was born and probably many of you was watching uh, 1987 in the old Division 3 and it was a 1-0 home defeat um, for the Rovers and then we jump forward quite a distance into the future to 2016 um, in League 2, 2016-17 season and Rovers did well against Newport that season with a 2-0 win at home and a 0-0 draw at Rodney Parade. And then last season, the 22-23 season, um, it was kind of on us even. Probably Newport edged it with their scoreline. It was a 1-0 away win for the Rovers. We'd definitely take that tomorrow. But then Newport came to the Eco Power Stadium and absolutely battered us, turned us over 3-1 towards the end of the season. So even the last five, we've got two wins each, a draw sandwiched in the middle. It's a tough one to call coming into this one. But looking at the away form, um, the two games more recently in 2017 and 2022, a 0-0 draw and a 1-0 win. So hopefully it's a happy hunting ground for the Rovers tomorrow. On to current form. So looking at Donny and Newport, our last five Rovers draw, two wins, a defeat and then a win. Newport, two defeats, a draw, another defeat and a win. Starting with Donny, we come into this game in the exact same form as Newport since the start, as the start of the season. An opening day defeat to Harrogate was disappointing after a lot of expectation going into that, but it was just a game where we simply weren't good enough to break them down. Uh, regardless of refereeing decisions, I've gone over that a number of times in the match day vlog and podcasts on Sunday and Monday. Um, I think the refereeing decisions were poor, but we weren't good enough to break a very good defensive unit in Harrogate down. Um, but we followed that up with a huge result on Tuesday night with a 2-1 win at championship side Hull City in the Carabao Cup. And in that game, similar to Newport's, which we'll get onto in a, in a short while, we saw less of the ball, but utilised it really well, um, getting more shots off at goal. But a little worry for me at the minute is the on-target ratio to the amount of shots that we're having. So Tuesday night, three shots on target out of 17 shots. Um, hopefully... We're working on that in training and we're going to start seeing a bit more conversion of shots at goal and a bit more accuracy. But in terms of conversion, scoring two with only three on target, we'll take that. Um, but yeah, I think 17 shots in a game, looking back to last season, you'd have to look at maybe four or five games to get that amount of shots um, in a Doncaster Rovers team. So improvements have been made. It's going to take time, but it's, it's starting to get there and hopefully these improvements continue into tomorrow's game and we get a decent result. On to Newport. They've come into the season off of a disappointing last three pre-season games, a heavy 8-0 defeat to the hands of Bristol City, a 2-0 defeat to Yeovil at Yeovil, and then a 1-1 draw against Cheltenham. Um, so coming into the season, probably not full of confidence, but pre-season, the, the, they don't always determine what it's going to be like when you're playing competitive football. Um, I said that about Harrogate and Donny uh, before the first game of the season, um, but it may have filtered in because they did start off poorly with a 3-0 defeat to Accrington, although it, it seemed like it was a fairly evenly contested game. 
other than the scoreline. Um, similar possession, similar shots at goal and things like that. So I think it's going to be a tough test tomorrow for, for the Rovers to come away with something from Rodney Parade. Like Donny on Tuesday, um, a very good result against a fancied Charlton team. Uh, again, a little bit like Donny, they used the little possession really, really well um, and hurt Charlton with it coming out 3-1 winners with only 26% possession. So I think Rovers need to be wary of that. If we do have a lot of the ball, Newport have got the ability to, to hit us where it hurts with seeing very little of the ball. So like I say, it's going to be a tough test. It's going to be an interesting one. I'm looking forward to watching it. Moving on to player profile, so for this one I have gone with George Miller, 24 years old, centre forward for the Rovers, scored the two goals on Tuesday night to help Rovers onto a first round Carabao Cup win for first time in a couple of seasons, I think we got through to the second round two years ago, we got knocked out against Lincoln last season um, and it's been a while since we got to the third round, I think it's been about 15, 16 years since we got past the third round so it'd be nice to have a little cup run but for me it's not it's not paramount i want to i want to focus on the league the bread and butter but a cup run does breed confidence so maybe grant mccann will be looking to win as many games as possible just to keep that momentum going but miller's two goals i think will give grant mccann a very good headache to have in terms of his team selection do you go with miller or ironside in this one it's going to be a tough one for him to to choose because miller rovers top scorer last season is looking fit hungry and revitalised under Grant McCann so yeah what a, what a good headache to have for, for Grant McCann coming up to tomorrow's game. On to the opponents one to watch so as I said earlier you know your club much better than what I do so if you don't think this person is really going to have an impact on the game like I do please get your opinions in the comments down below because I do like to learn about other clubs in our division as well uh, but for, for Newport County I have gone with Harry Charlesley as the one to watch two assists on Tuesday night, 26 year old centre midfielder. Over his career, 235 appearances, over 100 League 2 appearances, so plenty of, uh, of experience at this level. 26 goals, 17 assists and I've chose Harry because I just think he, he may have that ability from the centre of the park to, to find a pass and unlock our defence and, and create opportunities in what may be similar to, to Tuesday night where Newport might not have a lot of the ball, we may have more of the ball um, in this one and I think he may be able to just utilise it when he's got it and find that pass to, to put us under pressure. So for me, Harry Charlesley is the one to watch for Newport County tomorrow. On to the predicted team lineup. This is thanks to FanHub. If you've not downloaded the app yet, please go ahead and do so. Plenty of features getting added um, and it's decent to keep a track of how other people are doing and what they're guessing and things like that. Uh, but for me, the predicted team lineup for tomorrow is as follows. A couple of changes from Tuesday night. I think McCann will mix the team up with the amount of added time and stuff like that. I think he's going to try and keep it as fresh as possible. So I think he'll go Lawler in goal, a back four of Sterry, Wood, Oluwu and Maxwell. Um, a midfield three of Biggins, Broadbent and Molyneux with Satona on one side, on one wing. Tyler Roberts on the other who looks fantastic. He's going to be a long signing that I fall in love with. They say never fall in love with a loney. I think I'm already falling in love with Tyler Roberts. He's fantastic. And with the two goals on Tuesday night, I think Miller's got to start. I think he's got to be given that opportunity in the league as well. Um, but it gives us a very strong bench with Ironside, Tommy Rowan and players like that potentially coming on. But that's my predicted 11. It's nice to have a headache in predicting these 11s. Last season, you could pretty much get it spot on every single game, whereas this season Rovers have got two strong players per position so it's really tough to predict a lineup this season so far but that's what I'm going with for tomorrow's fixture. On to the predictions league table so if you're new to this me and the family predict the scoreline for every single league game if we get the scoreline spot on we get three points if we get the outcome of the game right but not the scoreline we get one point if we get completely wrong we get no points and we were all confident going into Harrogate last week we all went with wins so there's no change in the table we're all on zero points Fingers crossed, this score prediction is correct. So as I've said earlier, I think it's going to be a tough game. I think it's, it's we're going to have to fight and put everything out on the pitch to, to come away with a result. But I think the confidence coming from beating a championship team in their own back garden could filter across into this one. And I'm hoping that it just starts to click. And I think when it does start to click, we could really punish a team in League Two this season. 
I'm being confident. I'm starting the season confidently and I'm going with a 3-1 win for the Rovers. Um, but it's one of those where I think if Newport turn up solid unit defensively, a little bit like Harrogate were, I think we'll, we could struggle to, to, to unlock Newport County like we did with Harrogate and it could be a tighter game than what I'm putting there. But neck on the line, going with 3-1 win for the Rovers. And then it takes us into a very tough couple of games against Mansfield next week and Notts County. So, yeah, we need to get points on the board. I think this is the one where we're going to get all three. Three one wins to the Rovers. And that's where I'm going to leave this one. If you enjoyed it, please stick a big thumbs up on it for us, please. Comments in the section down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. As always, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.